In this video, I'm going to show you how you can insert an image into your .NET Nuke website. Now, I'm currently logged in with a host or a super user account, but you can log in with anyone who has edit permissions and the ability or the permissions to upload files to the file system. And I'm going to switch into edit mode on the page in which I want to place an image. Now, what I actually want to do is for now, I'm going to take the .NET Nuke logo that we uploaded in a previous video, and I want to include it on this particular page in one of the three columns. For now, we'll put it into this middle column. So in order to do that, I'm going to work with the HTML module within that middle column. I'm going to go into the edit control for that particular module. And from within here, I want to go ahead and insert the image. I want to go ahead and insert that image before the word email address is there. So I'm going to hit enter to bring the, the cursor up a line and move email addresses down one line. And then what I'm going to do is go to the little paperclip icon here, which allows me to go to the image manager. And within the image manager, I can browse to the location where I inserted that previous .NET Nuke logo. So I could go ahead and choose that logo. And from here, if I just click insert, the logo will be added to that page. From there, we could save the content within the HTML module and it would then be displayed. But let's say that's not the right image. Maybe I wanna just hit backspace on my keyboard to delete that. And let's insert a different image into the page. I'm gonna go ahead and once again, choose the image manager. Now this time within the images folder, I'm going to choose one of the other images there within the website. And there's a couple of images here called banner one, two, three, and four. Now these images are the ones that are being utilized on the home page in that rotating banner. If I were to insert one of these images into the page, it would be extremely large. Wouldn't really fit into that middle column approach of the page. So instead of doing that, I'm going to press control Z. And what I'm going to do is instead of inserting that image directly, I'm going to go back into the image manager. Once again, choose the image and I'm going to choose banner three. Now from here, instead of clicking insert, I can choose the image editor, which is available to me within the image editor. I can come in and I can either crop the image or I can resize the image. And there are a couple of other tools here for allowing us to rotate images and, and a few minor other different types of edits. But for now, I'm just going to choose to resize that image. So if I click on that icon, I get a little window here, which will allow me to change the size. So let's say I want to make sure that the image is no wider than 150 pixels. I can type that width in. You can see that it automatically adjusts the height. I can go ahead and click resize and that will resize the graphic here in the image editor. Now from here, I can save that graphic with a new name. Dot and Nuke will automatically put underscore thumb on the name of the image. If I go ahead and click save, we'll now have a new image available to us within the image manager. I can choose that image. You can see it show up on the right side. From here, I can go ahead and insert, or if I'd like, I can go into the properties. Then I can set some various properties on the image. Maybe I want to set the alt text. Perhaps I also want to come in and control the alignment of that image. I can choose alignment options. I can apply a class to that image in a variety of other settings. From here, I'll go ahead and just click insert. We now see that the image is inserted into that page and if I scroll down and save the content that will save that image into the content on this contact us page. So that's a brief introduction and in how to insert some images into your .NET Nuke website using the HTML module, as well as the image manager and image editor within the HTML editor for .NET Nuke. There are additional modules that you can use, such as the .NET Nuke Media module that you can download from the .NET Nuke Forge, and that will also aid in uploading and inserting images into your pages.